Well, hello there, beautiful people. So I am back with another self-portrait session, and like I teased in my last video, this is one that I'm excited but also nervous about, and it's because it is Cinderella themed. I love Disney movies, and I love the Disney princesses. However, the dilemma is in not ever being able to relate physically to these Disney princesses that I love. So I have always had this vision of reimagining myself as a Disney princess, but in the black girl form. And so I got this encouragement from seeing actually other photographers do this. So the photographer that I found that really inspired me to kind of push forward and try and figure out a way to really make this come alive for myself with where I am in my skill set right now is Simone Seven. And I found her on Instagram. And on her Instagram, you'll see that she basically reimagined herself um, as these Disney princesses, but as a black woman. And I was just so inspired by that because like my whole life, well not even really my whole life, I've just always kind of like wondered what would these Disney princesses look like if they were black and so seeing her do that definitely gave me more intrigue and in trying to figure out a way to really kind of like portray myself as a Disney princess um, and I'm in no way near the skill set that she has in regards to Photoshop and her photography, I am still becoming but um, definitely looking at her work made me just want to try it out, at least where I am right now. Now the second uh, photographer that I found, and this is actually a couple, and they go by the name of Creative Soul Photo on Instagram, and they specialize in taking uh, pictures of young black children. And they did also did a series where they reimagined um, the Disney princesses as these beautiful black girls. Um, and I was so inspired by that, just seeing people kind of like move forward with this theme of Disney princesses but black, you know? Um, so that definitely also gave me the encouragement to kind of pull through, brainstorm, and think of what you can do to kind of bring this alive for yourself. And so this video is to show how I did that. So first things first, I wanted to try Cinderella because let's just be real, Brandy will always be the one and only Cinderella that ever mattered. So yes, I wanted to try Cinderella, so I was looking online and I kind of headed towards Fashion Nova and I found this really nice blue dress that I felt like really hit the vibe of a Cinderella dress. So it wasn't too glam or prom or anything like that, uh, but I just felt like it really was good for a Cinderella type of theme photo. It flowed, um, so it worked for me. So I purchased that, Fashion Nova was great, about two day shipping, got here in the nick of time. Um, so I really love having that in my closet too to play with for future photo sessions. Next, I have this wig that I got from Diva Tress. It's very, very curly. I've never actually worn it for like an everyday type of thing. So I've been waiting for something to pull it out for and I feel like this type of photo shoot, even though we've never seen Cinderella with like curly, curly hair, I don't think. Um, but I just felt like this went with what I was trying to do, um, just the volume and the bounce. Um, I can play around with it and do things with it. And so I really wanted to use that for this. Third, of course, I pulled out my James Charles palette uh, because there's blue in there and I wanted to play with my eyes and just put some blue. Not a makeup guru, but I do like to use it as a tool when I'm doing um, portraits. Once I got my outfit together, I remembered that I have these pumpkins in my garage that I've had in there for years and are not real, so they're not rotting, but they are just like fake, kind of like Halloween pumpkins that have just been in my garage. And I'm like, okay, this is perfect. We all know Cinderella goes to the ball and pumpkin and her fairy godmother turned the pumpkin into a carriage. And so I just felt like that would be a great addition to add to this. Um, while also brainstorming other ways that I could uh, bring Cinderella to life, but I first wanted to kind of just like try out this pumpkin theme. So I actually did these photos twice in two days. I did them um, one day where it was about almost six o'clock, so there were shadows hitting the side of my garage. And then I also did them in the morning the next day, like around 
9.30 or so, so it was high sun, very bright. And so when I, I just kind of wanted to figure out like which lighting was the best, and I think the lighting on the first day at 6 p.m. shadow-wise was probably the best in terms of like really bringing out my skin tone. But it also could be that my shutter speed was just a little too um, high. Maybe I needed to learn how to adjust that more to really get the lighting right. I was kind of like going back and forth between ISO and shutter speed and just trying to figure out the best for me. Um, so maybe that too could um, use some work. So once I did that, I was just trying to get the poses together. How do I think center of the pose? And I'm just like, at this point, it doesn't matter. Let's just get a good shot. So once I got these down, um, I did have to edit them because when I first Kind of like saw them and put them on Lightroom. I wasn't exactly in love, but like once I started to play around with the editing and bring out the blues, I started to really get with it. Um, I stood, I really started to like them a lot, and I was, I was happy with them. Then I decided, what if I found a digital background to kind of insert myself into? So this worried me a little bit because I am not the best at Photoshop. Like I don't even really dabble in Photoshop. I want to because I, there are photographers that I follow that use Photoshop and they produce great work. So, because I'm kind of not that confident with Photoshop and I feel like it takes a lot of work to really learn it, I instead did what I wanted to do, but I used like three different apps to do it. So the first one I used was Canva. The second one that I used was Roscoe, B-S-C-O. Oh, Photoshop Fix, that's an app. So technically I did kind of use Photoshop. So first I went to Etsy and I found a digital background to purchase. Uh, the one that I got was about $4 and I also found something online that I could use for free. So once I got those backgrounds down, I inserted them into Canva. I selected the photo that I just edited off of Lightroom and basically blanked out the background and erased the background so that it would only be me standing in this kind of like illustrated beautiful artwork of like a castle and a pumpkin and Cinderella. So because I felt like the background looked more illustrated than I did, I felt like I wanted to kind of like make myself more I guess of a drawn storybook character and so that's when Bosco came into hand and I found a um, a filter on there that really made the whole piece come together as kind of like something straight out of a storybook, something that someone had drawn and illustrated. And I really liked that vibe because it kind of reminded me of uh, Once Upon a Time um, and Henry's storybook and the storybook that he carried around. Where's Blanchard? Yes? Thank you. You're very welcome. If you've watched that show, you know what I'm talking about. If not, maybe you should binge it during quarantine. So it reminded me of that and that really gave me like, okay, this is exciting. Um, so yeah, so that is my end result. These are the photos of me using a digital background, inserting the photos that I took of myself and kind of just making it all come together to look more like an illustrated um, art page. And I really enjoy that. Um, I think it's different than what I've seen from the other photographers that I followed who are doing um, this Disney princesses as black women or black girls. Um, and I feel like this this could evolve at the, the better I get at photography and Photoshop. I'm looking forward to see like how far I can take this and get better. Um, but right now I was pretty impressed with um, what I was able to do with my skill set so far. So I hope you enjoyed these photos and if there's something out there that you want to do, just go and do it. It may not turn out great, it may not look exactly how you want it, but at least you are taking the step to get there. So that is all I have for you in this video. I hope you enjoyed these images. I hope this has inspired or encouraged you in some way. And bye.